I'm Susan Page, Washington Bureau Chief of USA Today, and this is Capitol Download. We're on Capitol Hill with Montana Senator John Tester. Thanks so much for being with us. It's great to be here. Thank you, Susan. You know, there are people who say you are the luckiest man in American politics because you're head of the Democratic Senate Campaign Committee in a year when Republicans have 24 seats up, you have just 10 seats up, and Donald Trump is going to be at the top of the Republican t ticket. What kind of impact do you think Trump will have on these Senate races? Well, I think it's uh, it's going to be positive. Uh, know that we've positive for Republicans. I think it's going to be positive, positive for, for us Democrats. For, for Democrats. Yeah. Uh, know that I, I think that we have got a great set of candidates out there. I, I will tell you that uh, I think uh, we've done a great job recruiting some incredibly good candidates to to represent the people in their state, and I think that's really most important. Uh, that aside, uh, you know, Donald Trump has said some horrible things, uh, very racist remarks. Uh, uh, talks about women women negatively talks about disabled people negatively so he's he said some things that are that are pretty offensive and quite frankly from my perspective un-american and uh, I think I can't help to think that, that won't help our candidates I think Donald Trump in the end will help us and so when a candidate like Kelly Ayotte the senator mm -hmm. from New Hampshire says I'm gonna vote for my party's presidential nominee but I differ with him on these issues does that mean she's still kind of liable to be tied uh, I, I absolutely believe that. I mean, I absolutely, uh, the people that stand up and say, well, you know, he said this thing about a judge and I didn't like it, but I'm still going to vote for him. I still endorse him. Uh, that's, uh, uh, that's, that's as good as standing for all the principles that he stands for, in my opinion. What do people in Montana, what would they call that stance? Well, wishy-washy, probably. Um, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I think that... Uh, uh, in this particular case, Donald Trump, for the last year plus, has said things and have done things that have been totally inappropriate, and he's gotten away with it. Yet the folks here in the Senate have endorsed him almost in block. Uh, and I, I just think that uh, when you do that kind of stuff, knowing full well what you've got, um, it, it speaks to who you are as a candidate. And uh, quite frankly, the senators who have endorsed him uh, uh, have done exactly that and uh, and he's their guy and he's a known commodity uh, yet they still endorse him they still stand up for the policies he, st he stands for you think Trump is a liability for Republican candidates is Hillary Clinton a liability or an asset for Democratic ones well I think if you take a look at Hillary's record of standing up for women of supporting the middle class uh, and you compare that to Trump's record of of insulting almost every minority in the country of, of uh, taking shots at, at folks with disabilities and women. Um, I, I just think that uh, that comparison is going to uh, be very interesting when the voters go to the polls in November. So I, I, am, I am not worried about, about Hillary uh, at all on the ticket with our candidates. You need to gain, Democrats need to gain four seats, Senate seats to gain control if you win the White House, five seats if you don't win the White House. What are the odds that Democrats regain control of the Senate in November? I'd rather be us than them. I think they're. I think they're. I feel very good about our chances in November. Very good. Do you think the Democrats are going to have some problems uniting, some problems energizing the the voters who backed Bernie Sanders? I think Bernie's key in this. Uh, Bernie is absolutely key in this. Uh, I think we will come together. Uh, Bernie's always been a team player uh, when it comes to uh, uh, when it comes to important issues, uh, and uh, this is an important uh, situation we find ourselves in. And I think. I think folks will come together. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt about it. And when Bernie Sanders comes back to the Senate, as we expect him to do, will he have a different role than he had when he, w w before he ran this presidential you, you, race? You know, it's, it's hard to say. I, I hope his role is is to bring people together and, and help candidates across the board uh, win elections, because I think he's got power. And I hope he uses that power to the, to the benefit of, uh, of the candidates around the country who are good candidates. What's his power? Well, I think the power is he ran a very successful presidential race. He widened the debate on a number of issues that are really, really important. Uh, I appreciate that, and I, and I think the caucus appreciates that, and he needs to use that to help get folks elected. You know, we interviewed Bernie Sanders for Capital Download right before he announced, and, and I have to say I think he's surprised by the kind of success he had in this, yeah. in this contest. Were you surprised? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think that I talked to Bernie uh, in the Minneapolis airport when things were starting to heat up for him, and uh, I think you're right. I think Bernie was surprised, uh, and, and I was surprised too. Let me ask you about a couple particular Senate races. Close race we expect in Florida. If Marco Rubio decides to run after saying he wasn't going to run, 
Will that make that race much tougher for you all? Uh, I'll tell you where my concern is, not only in Florida, but in every one of the races that are going to be very, very competitive. Uh, we've already heard the Koch brothers and Carl Rove say we're going to pull money out of the presidency and we're going to put it in these Senate races. That is a concern for me. Uh, we need to have enough resources to be competitive in these races, uh, and, and the money is the problem. And I'm not a big fan of Citizens United. I'm not a big uh, fan about the amount of money that's in politics. But the truth is, we're playing on the field we're playing on, and so you got to compete on that field. Let's talk about two states that haven't really been on the swing state list for Senate races, but might be reaches for Democrats. One would be both of them very senior, involving very senior Republicans. One in Arizona. John McCain, is he in real trouble? Yes. He's in trouble for a couple of reasons. Uh, uh, the main reason is because Ann Kirkpatrick's about as solid as you can get. Uh, she is uh, incredibly grounded, uh, knows Arizona, has won in a uh, tough house race in Arizona, uh, and uh, is working very, very hard and has a great team around her. Um, I like her chances in Arizona. I think she's doing a great job. Is Trump hurting? McCain? I think there's a real possibility of that because of what he said about Latinos, and there's, uh, it's a, that's a rising population in Arizona. Let me ask you about one other reach contest, and that might be in Iowa. Mm -hmm. Senator Grassley running for re-election. Really tough editorial the Des Moines Register ran yesterday about his failure, in their view, to take a strong enough stand against Donald Trump. Is it possible that, Ed, that uh, Senator Grassley could lose? Yes. N not only his stand uh, w was supporting Donald Trump, uh, but also the fact that he won't give a hearing to a Supreme Court justice. That, that's not Iowa. That's not Iowa's values. And I think he's, uh, he's made his bed there. Once again, I think we have a great candidate in Patty Judge who's been through the wars, who is uh, doing a great job getting around the state of Iowa and talking about issues Iowans care about. And uh, she's doing great. I like her shot. We're waiting to know who the vice presidential candidates will be. And, you know, some of the ones that are talked about for Hillary Clinton are Democratic senators who, if they took the job and won it, you'd have Republican governors involved in their replacement. That would be the case for Elizabeth Warren in Massachusetts, for Sherrod Brown in Ohio. Do you hope Hillary Clinton, your, your job is to get control of the Senate back. Do you hope that Hillary Clinton keeps that in mind when she thinks about a running mate? I think Hillary Clinton needs to take the candidate that uh, for vice president that she thinks will help her ticket the most. And uh, uh, I know there's people that say you don't want to take this person, you don't want to take that person out of the Senate. I, I, I hope she leaves them there. But in the end, if Hillary Clinton thinks she needs a senator to make her ticket to be victorious, uh, she needs to do that. She needs to pick the best person she needs possible. This is the president of the United States. This is the person she's going to pick as one heartbeat away from the presidency. You need to have good people. She will pick a good person. Senator John Tester, thanks so much for joining us on Capital Download. It's my pleasure. Thank you, Susan.